my speech today is about uh, happiness and in its modern way how we look at it. So what is happiness? Uh, this question has no straight, straightforward answer because the question itself is unclear. When I, when I, if I might ask 10 people here in this room to define me and give me examples of what is happiness, they would probably tell me it's someone who is uh, lucky, who is wealthy, who has many friends or credit cards. But, uh, <laughs> but there are two main senses of uh, happiness. The first one is the state of mind and the second one is the life which he leads is, uh, goes well for that person. And not surprisingly, 90% of your overall happiness is by, by the state of mind. And if, therefore, if I know all your external environment, where, where you live, I could predict just 10% of your happiness. So uh, why, are, why are people now less happy when we have so many opportunities for jobs and become successful? Where 10 centuries ago, where Bill Gates' success would mean something like getting into aristocracy or monarchy. Um, we are facing many differences and changes, not only in technology development, but also in our personal beliefs. At that time, the poor people would be described as uh, unfortunate or unlucky. Please, uh, if I can ask you, if I may ask you, raise your hands who is religious or believe in God. As you can see, thank you. As you can see now, less people believe in God and more believe in ourselves. Therefore, we cannot blame anyone else for our failures than us. This causes anxiety and a higher stress level in society. Because we are not afraid of losing or failing, we are more afraid of judging from other people. So, as I am an IB student as well, I have, one of, I have also a high stress level. <laughs> But what is more important, I learned that, I have met, that we have in our brain many logical fallacies. And one of, one of them is, for example, appeal on the work or title. So, I think everyone knows when we meet someone for the first time, the following question which we ask after, what's your name, is uh, what's your job? And there is a very strong correlation how that person answers the question and how much time you are able to spend with him. I personally do not agree with it and I would like to quote the famous philosopher and statesman Machiavelli. He says, it's no, it's, it's no titles that honor men, but men that honor titles. There are higher rates of suicide in more developed countries because they take their affairs too personally. So how we can make people more, more happier and forget about public opinion or their personal failures. Um, the very first step is to define your aims and goals. Because then when you start to do the work, you will be more motivated to get better in it. As Aristotle says, the pleasure in the work puts perfection in it. But the way how people see happiness and adapt it in a business, city, schools, or just in basic motivation is very, very different. Um, basically, it is like, I will work harder, I'll be more sex su successful, and I'll be happier. But this method is scientifically disproved, because our brains work differently. Uh, because when you reach your success, you keep changing it. For example, uh, you got good grades, then you want better grades. You got good job, then you want better job. You got good girlfriend, then you want better girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> so, if happiness is at the opposite side of success, you are, your brain will not be able to reach it, and therefore you will not be able to experience the state of happiness, or just very small part of it. Therefore, we need to change the formula in society for happiness, which is work, success, happiness, to work, happiness, success. Uh, one day I was discussing <laughs> the success and failures, uh, success and happiness with one really successful businessman and I asked him like how come that he's so successful what he has done if he if he really worked hard if he was lucky or if there was some other external circumstances and he just laughed and he told me that he has done he's never planned his future all what he has done is that he enjoys his work 
and therefore he is able to put extra extra work or motivation in his work. And it is for him fun and not my what I might other people see as extra work. So the advantages of happiness is not that you'll be able to spend extra hours in work, yes, but you, your, your brain also works better in positive circumstances than negative. Uh, for example, uh, your intelligence, your creativity, also your productivity level rises, equally as your relations with your colleagues. Uh, to, to summarize it, I will quote British writer, journalist and comedian David Frost. Don't aim for success if you want it. Just do what you love and believe in, and it will come naturally. Thank you.